What's going on everybody? It's Coco Latte and this video is going to be a little bit different. It's kind of a different format I'm not really used to doing, just kind of experimenting with a different style. You guys have been asking for a kind of guide on the killer and things you might want to know how to play the killer properly, how I do things, um, and I thought I'd actually come out and make a video for you guys. Um, I kind of went into a little bit of detail on this video. I didn't go too crazy because once again I'm not that familiar with making this style of video, but I tried my best. So. I first want to talk about the add-ons. Um, I'm going to show a tier list on screen right now just to talk about some of them. Um, I do think that his add-ons are pretty balanced. The ones I have in the top tier I do think are the good ones and once you get down to like below B there's really no point in using any of them. I've tried using them with like gimmick builds. I don't really know what they'd be good for. I mean they have their moments but they're not like anything crazy like the ones I have up top. Um, as for the maps, I think his best maps are Dead Dog, any of the um, Azeroth's Resting Place maps, any of the Ormond, or uh, there is just one Ormond, any of the Macmillans. I think those are all his best maps. They're really open. They have nice tall structures you can put your uh, your cams on. And overall, I just think they're the best for him. Um, the bad maps have to be Larry's, uh, Midwitch. I really don't like the Bad Ham Preschools, and I do not like the Mother's dwelling or the temple of purgation i think they're terrible maps for the singularity especially larry's uh because you put a cam down and then there's just a room immediately that they can run into and there's just no point in even um attempting to uh use your pods there it just it feels so terrible and it's not fun it's not a good time and then midwitch it's kind of the same thing as there's a multi it's a multi-floor map um it's not like the game though i think the game is way more manageable just because the top floor is so open you can actually use your cams quite well on that map i found i haven't really had a problem with that map but midwitch i usually can't do anything with singularity unless i get really lucky <laughs> um as for the preschool maps um there's just the map feels really flat it doesn't feel like there's a lot of tall things to put your cams on the trees on that map are also very strange they're really low like the the leaves hang down really far so it's it makes putting the cams on the trees extremely awkward it makes the hitboxes extremely awkward it's not fun that map just does not feel good to play on at all and for the uh, temple purgation and the red forest maps i think the reason i don't like them is just because of how dense they are like you put your cam up on a tree on any other map and you'll be able to see them running around a corner but you put it up on a tree and on any of these maps and it's like they disappear around the corner as soon as you put the cam so it's just one of those things where i don't think it's that great but you know in the next part of the video you guys are going to see me showing you guys some tips pod placements how to use this power and chase etc and then after that i'm going to show some gameplay where i'm going to be trying my best to talk about what i'm doing the plans i'm doing just so you guys can get a feel for how i play the killer and the the thought process that goes into me playing the singularity um i hope you guys enjoy i know this video is a little bit different it might be a little bit longer but um i hope you guys enjoy anyways and i'll catch you guys in the next one the cams are pretty simple. You kind of want to put them really high up in the air and you want to be able to see a lot of an area. So for example, this camera is good because you close off this whole area, this whole line. And if you think about it, that's a big chunk of the map right here. And then you can go over here. You can put a cam on this log. You're seeing this entire middle area. Teleport to anyone in this middle area. Okay, so how to put the slipstream on survivors. All you got to do is put a cam up and then look at them and then it'll put a slipstream on them. And another way you could slipstream multiple people is if you slipstream just one of them, after a couple seconds, it will immediately go to the next guy and you can teleport to either one of them. So a pod placement you want to do, say you're patrolling a gen, right? Or you're monitoring a gen. You have the cam on right here and you can't see it. There's a person working on it. You can see them right there, but you can't scan them. As you can see, there's a person right there. So what you'd want to do is have a pod right here so you can see all sides of the generator and scan them if you need to. So if you have somebody on a hook and you're on your cam, if someone's running up, it's going to take a long time to get a teleport off. Like, by the time they're away from the hook, it's not even going to show up. So I don't really recommend doing anything like that. And if you're in range of the hook and you go on one of your cams, it doesn't matter where it is. It can be right here. It can be over there. If you go on a cam and then get off of it, you are going to be hindered for a long time. So if you don't have to go on your cam next to a hook, do not do it because it is a big time waster. The cams I like to put in the killer shack is usually one right outside this window. If there's like a tree or anything, right outside this window, just so you have a view of that. And then one in the middle of the killer shack so you can see everything. 
These are my go-to cams, specifically because if someone is inside the shack and I'm on the outside of the shack, you can bait them with the pod, you can take the pod. If someone's on the outside of the shack on this side, you can see them with the pod, bait them with it. It's just, it creates so much pressure and they don't want to be in the shack if you have so many things because there's so many different mind games you can do. It's very strong. Another thing you guys want to be careful of when you're placing cams is not to put them like up in leaves like this because it obstructs your view and sometimes makes it so you can't scan people. So you never really need them that high. Always just kind of put them right at the top of the tree before the leaves start getting in your way. Another thing you guys are going to want to be cautious about is if you have a pod in a spot you like. Like say I have a pod right here. I really like this pod. I kind of want to have this one up here all game. You don't want to use every single pause. So if I put one here, now I have six left, five left, four left, three left, two, one, zero. And as soon as you see this refresh icon, the next pod you place will always destroy the first one you put. So if you ever see this icon and you have a pod that you placed a long time ago and you don't want it to go, do not use it because it will get rid of that pod. Another thing you guys can do is if you want to get rid of your early pods, like say you have a bunch like this that are all kind of just in one area and you don't want them, you could just go around, place all your pods really quickly like that, and it'll just get rid of all of them instantly, and then you'll have all your pods back. So you don't have to walk all the way over to where your pods are and manually get rid of them. So a lot of you guys think that EMPs are absolutely broken and don't know how to play around them i see a lot of you guys asking that question so sometimes like you'll check your pod you'll look for a gen and then a guy's there with an emp and just instantly blows up your pod and will get on the generator so what you can do is you can either go over to the gen and reset your cam and then you'll be able to scan them immediately again but sometimes that could be like all the way across the map all over all the way over there uh you don't have to go over there immediately sometimes it's better to just look for another chase um because it's a big time waster if you're walking around the whole map going to a gen ignoring all the other gens around you because someone blew up your cam so another thing that happens a lot is you'll be chasing somebody and they'll emp themselves and sometimes it can be detrimental and all you have to do is just put another cam immediately and then pot them again it's that simple sometimes you'll be chasing a survivor and they have a slipstream on them and out of nowhere they get emp'd that what that usually means is there's a little sneaky guy hiding around with an EMP. When you're chasing a survivor, you generally don't want to teleport to them if they're about to go to a window, because then you're going to have to either vault or wait for your overclock to end so you can teleport again. What you should do is when you're chasing them, wait for them to vault the window, then teleport afterwards. So it's an easy hit immediately after the teleport. So the Singularity has a built-in Spirit Fury whenever you're in an overclock, but you don't want to use it all the time because sometimes you'll end up in a situation like this. Where you're chasing him and they throw down the pallet and you take it and you're stunned too hard that you won't be able to catch up and get to their window. What you should do instead is let them throw down the pallet first, run away, then teleport to them so they're not getting the pallet stunned. And then you can hit them before they make it to their next window or pallet every time. The killer shack is one of the most common places a survivor will take you if they're trying to loop you for a really long time. This is a little mind game you can do if they're running in from the uh, pallet side. So you start chasing them. You let them vault the window. You kind of act like you're wrapping this way. And then you come back and then get them at the window. And it usually guarantees a free hit whether they run over here or to the window. Another mind game you can do at the Killer Shack, this one's a little bit more advanced, but if you already have a pod at this window, you want to try to get them to run around that side. And what you can do is right after they wrap that corner, get on the cam, fake TP, they'll vault, you TP to them, sometimes they'll freak out and vault right back into you, and you can get a free down or a free injure. So whenever you're coming to like a tile like this, just a normal loop or anything, and the survivor has good distance on you and they start looping, there's a very easy way to like instantly catch up and mind game them, and here's how you do it. So you let them go in, you get them about halfway, you pull out your power and kind of want to move side to side like this and see how they're moving. And that little ball is kind of sitting right in the middle. You want to get it right as you make them double back in a direction. So make them run that way and make them come back that way and then teleport to them. And you can usually get right on top of them and instantly get a hit. It's actually insane. There's this other silly mind game you can do where if you're chasing a survivor and they're going to a pallet, you can put a cam down on the other side, instantly start scanning them, they'll freak out and vault right back into you and you can always get these funny grabs. I do it all the time. So if you're in a chase, you 
want to make sure you're putting your cam in a good spot. If you put your cam here and you start looking for somebody, they can hide behind something. So you kind of want to put your cam either far up high above the loop so you can see all of it so you can always get a scan no matter where they're standing. Sometimes you'll be in a situation where you're chasing two survivors that are slipstreamed and if you teleport to the first one you can immediately cut off the one in the back and just hit them instantly. So if there's a TNL loop on the map, which there most likely will be, you want to put a cam on the other side of the T wall. So when people vault this, it's really easy to start mind gaming them and pretty much guarantee a free hit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're chasing a survivor here. He's running in. He vaults. We can pop the cam, freak him out. He'll see the little loud error thing. And sometimes they'll just run right into you. It's a free hit almost every time. Now that you guys know a little bit how to play the killer, um, I'm going to show you guys a game where I showcase a lot of the things I showed you in this tutorial just so you guys can get a feel for like how I'm doing it in game. Uh, but yeah, that's the tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bad ham. I swear, I just always get this map. I just always get this map. But let's we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm going to be trying my best to kind of just talk about everything I do, every decision I make in this uh, gameplay just because... This is kind of just like a tutorial video, or a how-to video. I always try to goop as early as possible. And we get a nice hit here. There's another guy here somewhere, because we heard that. Once you hear that sound, that ring go off, you know there's another guy nearby. Is the pallet on this side? No, it's not. Right, we got it down. No jolt or anything, which is pretty good. Because we know no one's working on any of these gens. I feel like someone is working on a gen, though. You will be elevated Let's go over to uh, this gen right over here. Oh, we got a guy right here. Since we can see him from right there, we can put a pod just close. We don't need to walk over there and wait. We can pot him from, like, really far away. Oh, we barely got that over the corner of that car. Can we get a hit here as well? Oh, if he stays at this loop, he's gonna get fried. I don't know, he's going down here. Okay. This area down here is not good for the singularity at all. Wait for him to walk away a little bit. Oh, I fucked it. Okay, let's see if he comes up the stairs. What's up, Lori? <laughs> Um, where was that explosion on that gen out there? Perfect. Oh, uh, we should have broke the door. Always, when you down somebody in the basement down here, always open the door before you pick them up, because then you'll end up in a situation like me right now, where I have to, like, take some wacky route to go to a hook. And sometimes they'll wiggle out because of it. We see a guy behind us, and we know this guy is, um... Going to go to the second hook state if we find him, so it'll benefit us if we go for him now. What the heck? Right, this is going to benefit us heavily. I thought he was going to go for the window. Okay, we can mind game this. Maybe not. Okay, if we could get a down on this guy close to that gen, Jolt will be massive. Yeah, this is definitely... Oh, we didn't get it. Not quite. All right, let's pick up, though. We got a lot of pressure right now. Now, part of me wants to go for that guy, but I know it would probably benefit us to... Oh, wait. What the... Let's go ahead and kick this gen. Kick this red cam. Let's use a reassurance on that guy. Let's see. Come on, scan him, scan him, scan him. Nice. That was weird. Um, we get a free hit here on Leon. Let's not use a coup stack. We're going to walk up to him and actually just M1 him. There you go. He used Lithe. He's flying. Flying down the road. We can catch him, though, with a shot here. We 
might be able to mind game this pallet. Oh, he doesn't go for it. Q, Q stack. Boom. And we got them on that gen. Okay, from a different angle. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a lot of wonky hitboxes when placing your paws. That's something you guys are just going to have to get used to. Um, I'm still honestly not that used to it because you never expect um, the weird hitboxes. Like there was like a stick sticking out in front of me and it was messing up my entire angle. And since we know someone's in this area, I'm going to put a cam at the, like, the top corner of this and look around and see if I can see him. Yep, he's right over there. Let's go ahead and cam him up before he gets to the hook and teleport to him. And he's not going to make it to anything here because we have two stacks of Ku. We don't even need to use one, honestly. And now we can teleport to him. We get an angle. No, we don't get an angle. That's annoying. Um, let's see. Oh, now we can get to him. Oh, this barbed wire on the top of that fence is so annoying. Someone put a boon down there. Let's go for this guy. You know he's on death hook. Got a spring burst. I went to the wrong cam. Playing a little mind game with that guy. Try again. Oh my god. I keep going on the wrong cam. There we go. That guy's going to second stage, which is really nice. Q stack here. We have one more Q stack. I think we leave him and go back to hook and put pressure on these guys. What the? Oh man, I hate this map. Let's go back and teleport this guy. Come on, come on, come on. You don't reach it. I do want to take a look over here. No one. Okay. If this map's geometry and like all the weird things, it's not. There's not a lot of stuff you can get your pods on, like high up in the air. It's really uh, disappointing. This is probably the best variant for the for the map though. With that big house in that corner. Oh, these guys are probably yeah, over there. Which is honestly okay with me. I feel like having these gins over here is kinda nice. They have a boon, which is not ideal at all. They're all grouped over here. I think we get in here with a coup stack. Ah! Yeah, we do. Perfect. I think a guy is lurking over here somewhere. Wait, did, did I see another guy? I did. This guy's dead. Ah! Perfect. You get him up on a hook. Get him killed instantly. Nice flashlight. That guy's gonna get picked up, which is totally fine with me, but he's so he's gooped. Actually wait, he's already up. Wait, what? What just happened? I didn't even pay attention to that. Let's go ahead and go to this guy. Oh, they're on that gen. We have to stop that. Let's go ahead and stop that real quick. And we get a jolt on it as well, so that's a lot of regression. I don't know what this guy's doing. And if they touch that gen again, that's just another pop for us. So it would be in their best interest not to not touch this gen again, and she's touching the gen again. Is she gonna go for the save? No, I'm gonna kick the gen. Oh my god, she's going for the save. Okay, so we get a trade here and another jolt. Oh, I thought I had a coup stack. This guy won't get out of my face. Which is typical. That guy might finish that gen all the way over there. The, the Leon. But if we can get this guy down and get another jolt on this gen, I think we're good. Nice. And honestly, I might just keep going for him. Oh, that's a lithe. Is that a balance? I think that's a balanced. 
Nice. That's going to put a lot of pressure on the guy that's over on this gen. He might finish it, which is totally fine, because that's not really what we're worried about. Let's go ahead and put him up on that hook. He is still nearby. He's, I think he's in the killer shack or on the gen trying to finish it. Yeah, he's trying to finish the gen. Perfectly fine. Oh my god, what the heck? Get it a vault, right back into us. There you go. Always do that, always. If they're running to a vault, always put a cam on the other side of it and start scanning them as they're vaulting because it'll always make them panic. Is that Boone right here? Oh, it's underground, dude. That's not good. Okay, these guys healed up. Um... That guy's at the killer shack. They're all on death hook now. Um, just need to... Just need to scan that guy. There's another guy right here in front of me. Scan him. Let's teleport. Let's go ahead and teleport to that guy. We have more coup stacks. So we can't afford to go for a hit like that. Now we can go back to the hook. Or look for this Leon. Don't know where he is. Let's go ahead and see him right there. And use another coup stack here. We can get another TP off him, I'm certain. What the heck? Nice, we got a kill. And another down. And that seals the game for us. That was actually a pretty, uh, pretty good game. They had a lot of pressure on me in, in the beginning. A little stressful. But you just got to keep your cool when playing and uh, you want to chase here. Yeah. <laughs> See, look at that. You put the two cams. Should I give this guy hatch? I get this guy hatch. Make the hook. No, you get it. <laughs> All right. That's how you play the killer. Um, hope you guys found this video informative. Hope you guys uh, are going to take some of these tips and use them in your singularity games. Uh, they work for me, so I don't see why they wouldn't work for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.